group of senior army officers have announced on national television in Libreville, capital of Gabon, that they have taken over power. They also announced that they have annulled the results of Saturday's election, in which President Ali Bongo was declared the winner. Identifying themselves as the Committee of Transition and the Restoration of Institutions, the soldiers said they represent the security and defence forces in the country. The country's electoral commission had earlier announced that Mr Bongo had won the just-concluded polls, which the opposition argued was fraudulent with two-thirds of the votes. Bongo's overthrow effectively ends. His family's 53-year hold on power in Gabon. There was no immediate response by the government to the soldiers' announcement. A video of Mr Bongo has appeared online wherein he disclosed that he, as well as his son and other family members were being detained by the soldiers in different locations. I'm Ali Bongo Ondimba, president of Gabon, and I'm to send a message to all the friends that we have all over the world to tell them to make noise, to make noise, for the people here have arrested me and my family. My son is somewhere, my wife is, is in another place, and I'm at the residence. The BBC says Gabon is one of Africa's major oil producers, but has nearly 90% of the country covered by forests. It joined the Commonwealth in June 2022, becoming one of its few members not to have been a British colony. The early morning announcement on Wednesday, August 30th, 2023, by 12 soldiers triggered spontaneous jubilations across the country. Announcing that they have dissolved all the institutions of the Republic, the military officers added that the country's borders had been closed until further notice. The Gabon coup becomes the eighth coup in former French colonies in Africa in the past three years. Most of the others have been up north, in the Sahel region, where an Islamist insurgency has led to rising complaints that the democratically elected governments were failing to protect the civilian populations. French Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne said her country was following the situation closely, while the European Union's foreign policy chief said a military takeover would increase instability in Africa. The sounds of loud gunfire could be heard in the country's capital, Libreville, following the broadcast. Is the news from around you, from the communities, in the creeks, on the roads, whether there are celebrations, protests, parades, football matches, the people, the places, the issues, we serve them fresh, hot, unbiased, factual and timely. It is informative and educative. It is community news. It is the news on Krishna Television. Follow our social media handles. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay with us. Krishna Television, your blog for community news.